Hi, Matt. My name is Kylie Renna. I'm with Ring and SEO. I'm actually a local marketing agency right out of Jackson. Um, I just wanted to send you this short video with some free tips and tricks on how you can start beating your local competition today. Uh, I hope that this video is helpful to you, and if you could provide some feedback after you've watched it, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, there's three things that I'm going to talk to you about today. Uh, first one being content, second one being citations, and the third one being backlinks. Since we're on your website, I'm going to start with content. Content is obviously uh, the words on your page, uh, but it's also so keywords and key phrases that people type in when they're looking for plumbing companies in Jackson, Michigan. Um, how, having your photos saved as keywords is super important too. So right-clicking on your photos, making sure that every photo on your on your website, every page of your website, um, has what a relative keywords to what people are typing in, um, and they're saved correctly is super important. So um, simply doing that is going to help a ton. Um, also having uh, so the amount of content on your page is very important. So looking at your competitors and seeing how many words they have on their main page or on their service pages and then going above what they have. So if they have 1,400 words, make sure you have 15, 1,600 words on your main page. It seems like it's hard to do, um, but you can get stuff crammed in there pretty easy and, and still make it easy on the eyes but have the ability to, to add all your keywords that you need in that content to make sure that you're beating any competitor that you have in Jackson. We're going to move on to um, citations here. So citations are anywhere that your business name, phone number, and address are listed. So um, online directories is a big one, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, um, uh, Yellow Pages. These are all sites that you could be putting your name on if you haven't already. But looking at what your competitors have too, and you can get a list of everywhere that they've listed. So all the directories they're listed in, and they might have, you know, 80 listings in different directories. So going ahead and finding that list, and then, you know, do, if they have 80, do 100. Um, that's going to put you up too, especially in this GMB. So you've got 38 Google reviews. Pushing reviews is awesome, and that's going to help too. So every time you help a client and you're done with a job, say, hey, would you guys mind, um, you know, shooting me a review on Google? Let us know how good we did. Um, all that fun stuff. That's going to help too. Uh, going into more info. So, oh, also while we're here, let's do this. So, if I were to click on the pictures on here, this is going to be same as your website. So, uh, as far as um, photos and how they're saved. So, making sure these photos on your GMB are saved as keywords too. And you've only got three photos here. Some of these look like they're just Google threw them on here. And then you've got your Grimes plumbing logo. Um, save these as keywords and then add more photos. So having about 15 photos on this and having them all saved as keywords, that's going to help throw you into that GMB pack as well. So citations and your photos, how they're saved, Google reviews, all that fun stuff is going to help push this to the top of Google. And what I mean by that is when I pull up Plumbing Jackson, Michigan, you've got this GMB pack here, a little snack pack. You've got Rooney's, Jim Coffee, Flix Plumbing. These are all competitors that are ranking their GMB at the top of Google. So when t someone types in those key phrases, such as Plumbing Jackson, Michigan, these are the companies that are pulling up. And I would think that you would want to be, you know, in this first place or even third place, somewhere in here, a uh, position so that people can can type your name or click your name rather than theirs. So you're actually ranking organically. So you've got organic power, uh, which is necessary in order to even be in this pack. But there's something that you're lacking um, that's not allowing you to be in this here. Uh, and it may just be this keyword. It may be 10 different keywords that you could be pulling up. Um, obviously, adding this to your website is going to help you pull into here. So that's super important. Uh, that being said, let's move to this tool I've got here. And I've got your company pulled up, and I've also got um, one of your competitors pulled up here. This is a tool I use called AREFs. It's going to help me show an overview of your website, uh, backlinks. So that's one of the things I said I was going to talk to you about. It's going to show your backlinks, the power that's coming to a website, your organic keywords. Now, this site is not 100% accurate. However, it is fairly close. Um, you know, 99% of marketing agencies out there do not understand SEO, search engine optimization. Uh, they they are not trained in it. They don't know how it works. Um, they can build you pretty websites, but they don't pay any attention to your keywords, how things are saved, uh, site titles, all that fun stuff, and backlinks um, especially. So you need these backlinks to pull power to your website. You can have keywords, but if you don't have backlinks, it's really going to do you no good. So paying attention to these referring domains, you've got 25 referring domains on here pulling 158 backlinks from these referring domains. These domains either have a link directing back to your website or they have a photo that's directing a link back to your website. Uh, not all 
backlinks are created equal. So making sure that you have relative backlinks that are, you know, from other HVAC companies or, or, or plumbing, excuse me, that are pulling information or, or data from here and giving power to your website. You obviously don't want to use something that's not relative like an ice cream shop or something like that. Uh, Google's not going to like that and it's going to actually rank you lower. So, and then paying attention to your organic keywords. Um, you may be ranking for uh, Grimes Plumbing. Um, so a lot of these keywords that you're ranking for in first position might be if someone actually types in Grimes. Um, making sure that you go and look at your competition and see what they have. And this is Rooney's here I've got pulled up. So they've got 26 organic keywords, which is less than yours, but they're ranking in that map pack. So that leads me to believe that they've got keywords on their site that you don't have. So just going in and simply snagging some of those keywords, making sure you've got the content, enough content on your page to be able to use those keywords is really going to help you a lot and allow you to, you know, come up every time someone types in anything related to plumbing in Jackson, Michigan. I hope that this video is helpful to you. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. Uh, and I'd also appreciate, like I said, some feedback after you've watched this. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate it.